Prayer means to call, calling on the name of God and connecting with God. In the time when you have need and when you don't have need, who do you call? You know, up to the time you call your friends, you call your mom, you call your neighbor. But there is a friend that is closer than your mom and your friends. I'm talking about the power of prayer. And that is why the book of Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 make us to understand. It says, call upon me in the time of trouble. You can call God before calling your friend. Prayer also means to connect. You know, I have a series on prayer which talk about the seeds of prayer. You can connect with God in prayer. So you connect with God the way you connect with your friends. You have time with him and spend time in his presence. Again, prayer means communication. I'm talking about the seeds of prayer where you communicate with God. You know, up to a time, we treat God like a radio when we keep talking and talking and talking and talking, but we don't take time to also listen to God. Prayer is two ways. You spend time to communicate with him and you spend time also in his presence to hear him. And as I round up, do you know, it is not every time that when you talk to God, you have to rush out of his presence. You need time in the presence of God where you'll be able to listen and ask him questions. Prayer means connection. Prayer also means combat. Do you know it's fight, it's warfare because your flesh at times is saying, don't pray. Then I find out, especially when it comes to me as an individual, there are times you don't feel like going to the place of prayer. But when you are there, you can spend hours, days, minutes, seconds in the presence of God without even budging. I can go on and on. A lot of times people want instant food, drive through. But I want to encourage you, when you stay in the place of prayer and continuously you are praying without ceasing, definitely it will answer you. Don't give up, be encouraged. Don't quit, keep praying.